Hello everyone, it's me, Clayton. I just got back from watching Widows. Now, when it comes to Steve McQueen's movies, it's quick to describe them as Oscar bait or as films that are destined for the Academy Awards, but while this film very much is that, it's generally just a great film in its own right, with a lot of things to love about it. So let's get to the story, shall we? The story, for those who don't, don't know, is about the widows of four... Of four, of four robbers who end up without their husbands. Their husbands end up dying after a, a heist gone horribly wrong, and all the women end up in a large amount of debt. So one of the women, played by Viola Davis, sets up a heist that her husband, play, who was played by Liam Neeson, was, pl was planning to do. So the four women decide to go on this crazy heist, prepare for it, get some guns, get a van, and try to do anything they can to get this heist done so they can get out of debt and so they can get back on their feet. That's essentially the whole... Well, and while that's going on, we have Paul, we have, we have a, an election going on for the mayor of the city. We have the citizens of the city going through various issues and all sorts of stuff. But when it comes to the story, I, the thing I like about it so much is how real the characters feel. I know that's not the most deep description of the whole thing, but that's the best one I can think of when it comes to Steve McQueen's characters. Nothing about them feels like it's phony, and a lot of that has to do with the performances. Viola Davis, of course, is amazing in her role, and I think she does a, a really good job as, as Veronica. Elizabeth Debicki does a really good job as Alice. She's is it, She plays... A, she, her character, Alice, is usually not as confident and not as in her own element as Viola Davis's character, but she has several moments where she stands out in her own way. Michelle Rodriguez, I think, was born to play these roles for, for pretty much her entire career, and she does a pretty good job, as you'd expect her to do. And all the other actors handle their roles expertly, too. The sets and The sets in the film also generally fit the tone throughout and there's a lot of great camera work that really gets you into the movie. It doesn't feel distracting. All the camera movements stay still when they need to and they move around when they need to make the action exciting or when they need to make character moments really stand out. While there isn't a lot of action per se in the film, the bits of action that we do get are very well handled. I generally love how the action scene, the the few action scenes do play out. They're very brutal. They're, ex they they're very realistic, and they are certainly not for the faint of heart. To the point where even the camera sometimes looks away from the actual violence, to either, to either to, to either make a point, or to ge generally tell the viewers that what you're what's going on is so bloodthirsty and so hard to watch that we're not even going to see it because it's that messed up. Similar to, say, one of Joker's kills from The Dark Knight, which I really love. S sometimes seeing the reaction to the kill is more shocking than the kill itself. And th this film really does get that. Another thing that I really liked about the film is the... is other than the way it's shot, the way it's acted, and the way it's written, is also the music. The music in the film is su is usually pretty subtle, usually not, or not being a huge factor, but the few times when it is implemented is really well handled, either ratcheting up the excitement of the heist scenes or revealing more, a more somber tone that's throughout the rest of the film. I definitely don't think Widows is is, a, is Steve McQueen's best overall film, but for a film of the, for this film but for the film of its type, it's definitely a fun ride while also being generally thought-provoking and well thought out, as you'd expect his films to be. So I'll give Widows a 9 out of 10. See you next time.